Hi there! If you're watching this video, it means you've picked a container garden kit. So the place that you're going to want to put your container garden that once you plant it, you're going to want to put it in a sunny window or on the sunny side of your house, somewhere where it gets about six hours of sunlight a day and preferably close to a water source like a hose or you can uh, use a watering can. So in your kit, what you're going to have is a bag of potting soil, it has little white crumbly things in it. You also are going to get a bag of compost, uh, nice and broken down and sweet smelling like earth. And then you're also going to get some organic fertilizer. This does not smell very good, but don't worry, your plants will love it. So I'm going to show you how to put together your container garden and then we're going to talk about how to plant the individual plants that we give you. So first you start by getting either a spoon from the uh, from the kitchen, you'll have to ask a parent if you can borrow one of them, um, or you can use one of these little garden trowels here. So you're going to take your pot and you're going to fill it a quarter full of compost. Now you're going to fill it a quarter full of potting soil. Now in that first layer, go ahead and give it a stir like you're making a cake. Then repeat that step again. Now you're ready to plant your container garden. So you've been given three pots and three plants. You've been given a tomato plant, a basil plant, and a pepper plant. It's a sweet pepper, don't worry, it's not hot. You're gonna wanna know which one is which. Your plants will be labeled. And this is important because certain ones you're gonna eat the leaves like a basil plant, and the other two you're gonna eat the fruit and you don't wanna eat the leaves. They don't taste good and they're not good for you. So make sure to label your plants correctly. And if you lose your label and you're not sure, you can always snap a picture of it and send it to us here at the 4-H office and we can tell you what you got. Okay, so uh, our pepper and our basil we're going to plant the same way so we'll start with those the tomato is planted a completely different way so we're going to push him to the side for a second so you can tell the difference all right so how we're going to start is go ahead and take a look at your little plant and you're going to notice where the plant comes in contact with the ground okay when you bury your plant in here you're going to make sure the soil in your bigger pot comes right to the top of the soil in your little plant so go ahead and dig a little hole and then you're gonna put your hand like this on either side of the plant and turn it over and slide the plant out. You can massage the roots a little bit to get them to spread out. And then you're gonna turn it over into the pot. And then what you're gonna do is put your hands around the side and give it a little push. So those baby roots get in great contact with the soil. Let's do that again with your basil plant. Make a hole, cup the plant, tip it over, give it a little massage and then you're going to turn it over and press down to make sure you get really good contact with the roots now a tomato is a completely different plant it likes to be buried very deep and the reason we do this is when you bury a tomato deeply roots will shoot out all along the stem making a stronger plant that's more resistant to drought so go ahead and take your tomato plant and find your top area of leaves. We're going to save these and bury it up to there. So these other two sections of leaves, we're going to go ahead and cut those off. Okay, you can do it by hand, but if you're nervous that you'll hurt your plant, go ahead and use a pair of scissors. Just get a hold of your parents to get you a pair and never run with scissors. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to dig way down into our pot and push the soil to the side so that it's a very, very deep hole. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is the same thing. We're gonna cup the plant, tip it over, give it a little massage, and stick it way down into the soil. Then push the soil up around the stem, press down really well, and your tomato will be happy and strong. Now water everything very deeply. You could do this with a watering can, or you can have your uh, family help you pull a hose over to do this. Now keep in mind in the summer it gets really hot so you're going to want to water these plants every day. Okay so I'm going to water these real good so they're nice and moist. 
And now we're gonna fertilize. So, you've also been given this fertilizer. It smells a little bit like fish, so it doesn't smell great, but the plants, this is great food for them. So you're gonna take about a tablespoon. You can ask if you're allowed to use the measuring spoons um, from the drawer in your kitchen, but ask first. Um, and you're gonna take about a tablespoon and you're gonna sprinkle it around each plant. And you're gonna do this about every two weeks during the summer when your plants are still growing. Now pop these guys in a sunny window and watch them grow. When you water your plants, make sure that you water deeply so that you see water come out of the holes in the bottom of the pot. We'll be posting regular videos on plant care and maintenance on our Extension website as well as social media. Please share your progress on our Facebook and Instagram accounts. For questions, feel free to contact us through the 4-H Victory Garden Remind. For more information, look us up on tinyurl.com 4-hvictory. And never run with scissors. <laughs> okay.